Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rucker Films. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to generate this really awesome Instagram like box right inside of Adobe After Effects. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a composition created, we need to begin by creating a brand new layer. So we'll go up to layer new solid and we'll change the color to a pinky red color that you would typically see on Instagram. Now from here, we'll go up to the rectangle mask tool and we'll make sure we select the rounded rectangle tool. We'll turn on the proportional grid just underneath the monitor and now select a point within your video. So I'm gonna select this grid line and I'm gonna draw this rectangle and pull this down to this corner. Now from here, I need to go ahead and generate a triangle. So we'll go into layer, new solid again. We'll select that same very color. We'll press okay. We'll turn this layer off for now, just so we can see what we're doing. So press the eyeball icon. We'll go up to the pen tool, make sure the pen tool is selected and we'll just draw a triangle at the bottom of this rectangle. Now, once you've drew that triangle, we can just turn that layer back on. And now because we've successfully drew this out, we can turn the proportional grid back off. And there we go. We have this really awesome Instagram like box, but from here, we need to nest this into its own composition. So we'll select both of those layers. We'll right click on the keyboard and we'll go up to pre-compose. Now you can rename this pre-composition to anything you like. I'm gonna rename this to a like button. And now those two layers have been merged into one layer. So this is where we can move on to the next stage. From here, we need to go ahead and generate a love heart. So we can do this one of two ways. The first way is by making our own love heart. So we'll go up into layer, new, solid. We'll change the color of this from our pinky red to white. We'll press OK on this. And then making sure that the pen tool is selected, we can go ahead and draw out our own love heart. Of course though, this is not going to be perfect. As you can see, my love heart looks terrible. It honestly looks really, really bad. So I'm gonna go onto the internet. I'm just gonna search for Instagram love heart. I'm gonna drag this into After Effects. But unfortunately, this image that I found on the internet is a pink love heart with a white background. So we need to go ahead and adjust the colors. So in effects and presets, we'll search for tint. We'll drag tint onto the love heart layer. And inside of tint, we'll map the black to white, and then we'll map the white to black. From here, we'll go into effects and presets again, search for levels. We'll pull levels onto the love heart and we'll pull the input white down to around 70. Now all we have to do to get rid of that black is change the blending mode. So we'll go into mode and change this from normal to lighten. And there we go, we've got a really awesome white love heart. Now we'll just pull this over to the left for now. And now we can focus on generating the text. So we'll go up into layer new solid one more time and we'll make sure the color of this solid is black. And then in effects and presets, we're going to search for time. Drag time code onto the black solid. And inside of time code, you want to change the display format to frame numbers. You want to change the time source to custom. We can increase the time unit and the starting point. And then we'll go to the very bottom of the timecode menu and we'll deselect composite on original. Now we'll drag the position of that text over onto our bubble, but as you can see, we've got this black box. So we'll uncheck the show box menu. Now we'll go up to text size and we'll increase the size of this so that it matches the same size of that love heart. And we'll drag that up onto the center. But unfortunately we've got these extra digits that we don't really need. So we can either crop these or we can just hide these with a new layer. So we're gonna do the second option. So we'll go up to layer, new, solid. We'll change the color of this to that original background color. So that's that pinky red color. We'll turn this layer off, so we'll select the eyeball icon. We'll go up to the rectangle tool and we'll draw a rectangle mask around those two zeros. Now when we turn the eyeball back on, there we go, those two zeros have disappeared. But as you can see, there is a giant gap between the love heart and the numbers. So we've got to pull these over closer together. Of course, though, make sure that the love heart is at the very top. If your love heart is underneath 
that solid that we just added in, then we're going to start cutting into the love heart and we're going to lose part of the shape. So make sure the love heart is on the very top. Now that looks really awesome, but I think the light box is a little bit too wide. So we're going to go into the like bubble pre-composition. So we'll double select like bubble. We'll select the rectangle. We'll press S on the keyboard to load scale. Unlink the scale. So this means you're going to unlink the width and the height and then just decrease the width of this to around 80 pixels. Now we'll go back over to our main composition. So that's comp one. And as you can see, that's perfectly sorted our problem. So as you can see, we've generated this really awesome Instagram light counter. The numbers are generating, but we need to animate this on. So this is where we need to pre-compose everything we've created so far and animate what we have. So select all of the layers in comp one and we're going to pre-compose this into its own composition. So we'll rename this to like bubble with text. And now from here, we can animate this one single composition and everything we've created will be animated at the same time. So we'll begin by adjusting the anchor point. We want to set the anchor point to the very bottom of our red pink box. And as you can see, the anchor point is marked by this little tiny circle with these four lines sticking out of it in the center of our frame. So pull the anchor point up and make sure that the anchor point sits at the very bottom of our like bar. Now, as you can see, that's pulled the like bar all the way up. So we're just going to fix this by pulling the position down to the very center again. Now we'll create a brand new keyframe on the scale roughly half a second into the footage. We'll pull it all the way back to the beginning, decrease the scale to zero. And as you can see, we've got this very slow scale up. So we'll just decrease the gap in between those keyframes. And after that animation, we're going to create a brand new keyframe and increase the middle keyframe to around 108. So we've got this very subtle bounce back. Of course, you can increase the distance. You can decrease the distance between all of these keyframes. Make sure the animation is fast enough for yourself. And once you're happy with that, we're just going to add some easy ease to these keyframes. So select all of those keyframes, right click on your keyboard, go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease. This is going to make that animation appear much more natural. Now we'll go down to opacity and just before that second keyframe, we're going to create a brand new keyframe on opacity at 100%. We'll pull the cursor back to the very beginning and decrease this to 0%. And that looks really awesome. So now from here, we're just going to go ahead and find an output for this animation. So around six seconds in, in my example, I'm going to create a brand new keyframe on scale. We'll go ahead maybe half a second in time and pull this down to 0%. So the scale is going to decrease at the end and we'll do the same thing for the opacity. So we'll create a brand new keyframe at 100%. We'll move across half a second and pull this down to 0%. And there you go. When we play this back, we've got this really awesome Instagram light box popping up. The light count is generating, the light count is increasing, and then after a few seconds, it disappears back down again. But there's one more thing that we need to do to really sell this effect, and that is to activate the motion blur. So we're going to turn the motion blur on by selecting this box, and then make sure that the motion blur button just above that is blue. If it's blue, then the motion blur is activated and you will clearly see motion blur on your footage. And there you go. That's the Instagram light counter effect now complete. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to subscribe to see more. Click this box if you want to see the previous video and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. Thank you for watching.